Today we're going to be taking a closer look at my itty bitty plush collection. In total I have 71 itty bitty plushes. Don't forget to subscribe for more collection videos all summer long and more daily Disney videos. With all that said, let's get started. So before we get into our first set, let me just take a quick moment and explain what itty bitties are if you do not know. They are a little plush collection and they kind of remind me of Tsum Tsums in a way and Wishables. These have little beads there in the bottom to help these little plush characters stand up. They remind me of the size of Wishables but they have beads in the bottom which kind of remind me of the Tsum Tsum plush. Since these plush can stand up they are great for collections and displays. These each retail for $7.99 so also in the same price range of the Tsum Tsums and Wishables. These are are only available at Hallmark which I will have linked down below and let's just get into our first series so first up here we have the classic Mickey and Friends and this is the original Minnie Mouse there with her yellow bottom representing her shoes her classic white and red polka dot dress and the classic Minnie Mouse face next up of course we have the classic Mickey Mouse there with his yellow shoes classic red base you guys can even see his little glove details and of course his little yellow buttons. And of course to go with Mickey Mouse we need Pluto. He even has his little tail and his green collar. I believe that this one was a limited edition so you can no longer purchase this Pluto and there are a few other ones that are limited edition in my collection that are currently not available but some of the other just classic characters are. But I really really love Pluto's little face. Next up to continue with our Fab Five we have Donald. He even has his little fluffy tail and his classic blue shirt with the yellow stripes and red bow tie. I love the face and the art style of these and I love his super squishy little blue hat with the black ribbon. Next up to go with Donald of course we need Daisy. She is wearing her classic purple shirt, her pink bow and shoes. She also has a little fluffy tail and is also wearing a blue bracelet, which is pretty interesting. Our next plush is Goofy. He also has the glove details, his classic orange shirt with the burgundy little vest. He has his blue pants and brown shoes, and of course his ginormous squishy green hat, and he even has his little teeth sticking out too. To finish off our classic characters, next up we have the limited edition Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse. This one has a lot more details than the original Mickey Mouse does. This one actually has a 3D fuzzy tail and a lot of details there on the pants. He also has a super squishy gray and black hat to help bring the Steamboat Willie look all together. To go with Steamboat Mickey, we need a Steamboat Minnie. This one has a felty gray hat with her classic little daisy. She has her ruffly little dress on in gray, and this one is also limited edition. Next, we're moving into some classic Disney. This next character is Wreck-It Ralph. This one is also limited edition, and this was released for Ralph Breaks the Internet. I love a super fluffy hair and his adorable simple face. I am kind of disappointed though this one has a screen printed body so it's kind of like sticker like where it has all of his super detailed outfit so it looks really nice but it is just not as good of quality as the Mickey ones that I just showed you. Our next itty bitty also has a super squishy hat. I love the shade of blue used on this classic Jiminy Cricket. He is wearing his black suit, he even has the little white cuff kind of details, and he has a lot of really fun colors. I love the little smile they used on his face, and he's also holding his umbrella. Our next itty bitty is a little two pack from Lady and the Tramp, and first up we have Lady with her classic blue collar and a nice like orangey tone there on her. She has super, super fuzzy ears as well. And as I mentioned, of course, to go with Lady, we need Tramp. Tramp has a super fluffy little tail, his classic red collar, and I love how his ears stand up so nicely. And I love how they also included the little fluff there around his nose. Now we have another two-pack. This one is super, super fluffy, and that is the Beast. He has his purple cape and dark blue pants. I love the different fuzziness, the textures and colors used to help create the beast. And he has a little bit of rougher fabric for his little horns, I guess? 
To go with Beast, here we have Belle. She is in her original blue outfit with her little white apron. I also like how her hair is pulled back, so it's super like flowy and fluffy. Continuing with some of our other princesses, here we have Snow White. I love her black hair accenting with the blue and yellow dress. She also has a red headband and a pretty like classic face for the princesses. Our next princess is Jasmine. Again, I love the pulled back hair with the little bun and the little teal outfit. Very classic Jasmine. And there again, you can see that basically they use the same facial expressions for all of the princesses. I guess you could call this next one a princess. Here we have Tinkerbell with her little sparkly white wings and her classic green outfit. Of course, she has her yellow hair with the bangs and of course the little blue hair tie. Our next princess is one of my favorites. Here we have the Rapunzel Itty Bitty. I love how they made her hair super flowy and squishy. They didn't even try to do the little tie on it. It's just very like flowy, I guess you could say. I love her dress as well. Very, very well detailed. Our next princess is Aurora. I love how they also left her hair down. Very like fabric-y, like they didn't stuff the hair. So it's just this very, very soft fabric. And she is wearing her classic pink dress and her little golden crown. Our next princess is limited edition. Here we have Moana. Once again, love the hair. Love how they made it textured and almost curly looking. She does have a lot of layers on her outfit and her necklace is also stitched on. So lots of great details in this limited edition itty bitty. To go with Moana, of course we need Maui. I love the hair on this one as well. Super curly. It just adds that nice fun texture to the plush. This one has the screen printed leaf little skirt. It also has the stitched necklace which is very very well detailed and it has the screen printed tattoos all over which makes sense because it would be hard to include all of those details. And of course Maui has to be holding his hook. The next princess we have is Ariel. I love, again, I'm going to keep saying it, I love the hair on all of these. I like how they were just able to make them all different, or even if they were the same, they were able to add the different layerings there around their face. This one has the stitched little fin and outfit details. I just love the colors of Ariel, and she's another one of my favorite princesses. Also in the Little Mermaid collection, I have this two-pack of the wedding ceremony from the Little Mermaid. So here we have the meshy veil with the golden crown and the same Ariel as we just saw just in her wedding dress, which has stitched blue details. And to go with the wedding Ariel, we have Prince Eric in his nice and formal outfit. Lots of dark blues, reds, blacks, and even the stitched yellow detailings to make it extra fancy. The next character we're going to take a look at is Sven from Frozen. I like how they did both the classic felt and the super fuzzy textured, like different browns here around Sven, and he has the rougher felt there for his antlers and a super cute little face. To go with Sven, of course, we have Anna. She has her classic little orangey hair with her braids down the side. I love all the details they used for her outfit as well, and this one is also pretty screen printed. Continuing our Frozen series, here we have Elsa. Her dress is super flowy. They also used a mesh for the little train of her dress with a bunch of these little snowflake type stickers on it. I love how they did the layering because the rest of her outfit is that screen printed so it definitely helped to add a lot more detail to the Elsa. Angie has her classic hair in the little braid. The last one of our Frozen series is Olaf. He has his bright white color and they use the kind of rougher fabric for the little sticks, his little arms and the little top on his head. I also love his super bright orange carrot nose. Now moving on to Pixar characters, this is actually one of my favorite itty bitties. Here we have this little ball, Mike Wazowski. I love his little face and his little dangly arms and legs. It just looks so silly and super, super cute. And of course you cannot have Mike without Sully. I really, really like the detail of this one because all of the purple dots are actually embroidered. This is one of the original itty bitties that was released, so the quality I think is just a lot better. 
The next set of Pixar characters is another classic duo. I love the bright neon colors used in this Buzz Itty Bitty. It has a fabric little jetpack there on the back, and just a super cute little face once again. And now for Woody, this one also has a lot of details, a lot of layering. This one is not really screen printed at all. He has a lot of details there on his shoes, and he even has his little pull string there on the back of this itty bitty. I'm sorry, that just went out of focus, but I hope you guys can see all of the great details there used on the front of this plush. Now for the next Pixar collection, first up we have Nemo. This is the Nemo and Finding Dory collection. This little Nemo itty bitty is super tiny and he even has his little lucky fin. Also in the collection from Finding Dory we have Destiny. I love how they started to explore the different shapes of the characters and how they were able to make this little whale shape. Speaking of all the fun shaped characters, next up here we have Hank. I love all of the little fun tentacles and again the fun little shape that they were able to make this character. I love the different eyes and the facial expression of Hank. Lastly in this Finding Dory collection we have Dory. This one also has a lot of really cool stitched details and has a lot of different fabrics in it. Again I really like the different shapes that were used for this collection and her face is adorable. Now for our last set of Pixar characters, first up we have Sadness from Inside Out. I love the embroidery detail they used on her sweater. I'm not a huge fan of her hair, I feel like they could have done a little bit more with that, but I love her super sad face, and they even included her glasses. Our next character is Disgust. I really, really like her hair. It's very similar to Aurora's hair that I just showed you, and this one does have some screen print there on her outfit because of the pattern. I also love the super bright pop of purple there on her scarf. Continuing with the girls, next up we have Joy. Again, I feel like maybe they could have done a little bit more with her hair, but this one also has the nice embroidery details there with her pattern. Very, very interesting how they choose which characters to do it on. Next up we have Fear. I absolutely love the face on this one and the little details there on his head. This one also has a screen printed outfit though, but I really really like all the colors and patterns. I just love his eyes so so much. That's really it. Our last Pixar character is a super bright red. Here we have Anger in his classic tan and burgundy outfit. I like how they were also able to keep the head shape very similar to Anger's, and I love his embroidered face details. Moving back to the classic Disney, here we have Piglet in all of the shades of pink. Once again, you cannot have Piglet without Pooh, so here we have the Pooh itty bitty in his bright red shirt. I also really, really love the yellow that they used for this one, and they even have the embroidered Pooh there on the shirt. Now for Tigger, we have the super bright orange. I love the black stripes. Those are screen printed, but it looks great. The face details look great, and this one is super soft. The last one for the Winnie the Pooh series is Eeyore. I love the different textures that they were able to use for the hair. The black hair is very spiky, which looks really, really good, and they even have the little pink bow there on the tail. Now moving to Star Wars, here we have Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing. I love the helmet details, all of the logos. It does have a lot of screen print on it, but this is a pretty well detailed figure. They also used a little plastic there on the helmet, and they even have the little helmet strap there as well. This one is in a little like display box, which looks like his little spaceship, his little X-Wing, which I think is just very, very well detailed and just a great way to be able to display these itty bitties in a different way. This next Star Wars one I wanted to keep in the box because it is celebrating the 40th anniversary of Star Wars. And this one is really, really cool because it looks like an action figure and that is Greedo. So I'm keeping this one in the box, but it does have a lot of really, really great embroidery details and is just a classic character. These next Star Wars characters are not in any special display boxes, but this character does have a lot of great details and attachments there on it. Here we have Rey in her classic little scavenger outfit. It has a lot of little textury pieces and just embroidery and screen print. It has all of the different things mixed into it. It looks so amazing. Next up for Star Wars, we have Kylo Ren. 
I love the extremely large hood. It just adds some great textures and just helps to like add a little bit more to this character. He also has his classic red lightsaber, which is a screen print. Our next itty bitty is super cute. Here we have the BB-8. I love how they're able to get the circle shape definitely helps this character a lot. This one is majority screen print as well, but it just looks super cute. The last classic Star Wars one I have is Chewbacca. This is the fussiest itty bitty that I have, as you guys can see. It is super, super soft. I cannot ex like emphasize that enough. And it has the classic screen printed little sash. Our last series that we're going to be looking at is the Holiday series starting off with the R2-D2. I love the little reindeer antlers and they made the little button on his little face there red to help him look like Rudolph. Of course you cannot have a Christmas collection without Santa so here we have Mickey Mouse just as Santa Claus. I love the bright green gloves and the fuzzy little details that they did on his outfit and on his little hat and I love his super fuzzy little beard. To go with Santa Claus, here we have Mrs. Claus, which is Minnie Mouse. I love how their outfits match and go together. She has a super fuzzy green and red little jacket, little sweater, and I love her little bright red bow. Next up for the holiday collection, we have Donald Duck. These next two, including Donald here, are supposed to look more retro, so that is why the yellow on his face is toned down, and also why he has a different hat. I love his super fuzzy outfit and his nice flowy green and white scarf. The last Christmas one that I have is Daisy Duck, and as I mentioned, this one is also supposed to look retro. You'll see by the pie eyes, and it also has the matching bow to match Donald's hat. They're wearing very, very similar outfits, and she's wearing a green bracelet. The next holiday we're going to be taking a look at is Halloween. First up, we have Minnie Mouse in her shiny metallic purple cape and hat. She also has a really cute shade of orange bow and dress. She looks super spooky. And looking even spookier, here we have the Mickey Mouse Halloween version. This one also has a metallic red cape. You guys can see his little glove details, and he is dressed up as a vampire. The next holiday we have is for Valentine's Day, and here we have Mickey Mouse in the different shades of red and pink. He has his white gloves, and his shoes are brown, helping him to look like a little chocolate. And he even has little hearts there for his buttons. And to match Mickey for the end of the Valentine's Day collection, this Minnie Mouse is very, very similar in style. It is the different shades of red and pink. Now, her dress and her bow are a very vibrant red, and instead of the little white dots, they are little white hearts, and she also has her chocolatey brown shoes. The last holiday we're going to be taking a look at is Easter. First up, we have Thumper from Bambi. This one has a nice pastel purple little bow and is also holding a cute little Easter egg. I love the little stitch detailings, and I love how the ears also stand up on this one. And matching Thumper, here we have Flower all cute with the matching little ribbon, the fuzzy little hair, and the cute little stitched face. These next four characters are from the Winnie the Pooh Easter collection, and they are all dressed up as little Easter eggs. So first up we have Piglet, Eeyore, Winnie the Pooh, and Tigger. This next Easter collection features the main Mickey Mouse and Friends characters. First up, we have Minnie Mouse dressed up as a purple bunny. She also has her pink little bow and the little sewn Easter eggs there on the front. Next up in the collection, we have Donald with the stitched little Easter egg, the yellow shoes, and he is dressed as a light blue bunny. There has the cute little fluffy tail, the ears sticking up super high, and the classic Donald face. Next up in the collection, we have Mickey Mouse, dressed up as a bright green bunny, and there he also has his little stitched Easter egg. Now this next one is another Mickey Mouse, dressed up as a turquoise bunny, and you will see some different details compared to the ones that I just showed you, because this one came out prior to that set being released. You will see here as it comes back around the little stitched ears and the more detailed stitched egg there on the front, and his face is also tan compared to the white that the other characters have. 
And the last one in the collection is Daisy Duck, dressed up as a bright pink bunny with her classic purple bow. So this is just like a reverse of what Minnie Mouse was wearing. So I hope you enjoyed this look into my itty bitty plush collection. They're a collection that not a lot of people know about and they're not being released that that often anymore but I will have hallmark.com linked down below if you'd like to see if they are still available because I do have itty bitties for many other series besides Disney too. Don't forget to check out more collection videos linked down below in the description. And with all of that said, remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.